a more advanced piece of equipment for field testing of drilling fluids is the fan model 280 rheometer. This is a hand crank model. It comes in pieces to be put together out of the test kit for the first time. We have the body of the unit and the hand crank that we need to add first. We have to put the bob on. And then the sleeve. When assembled, this piece of equipment allows us to measure properties of the drilling fluid called plastic viscosity and yield point. These two properties are more internal properties in the fluid, properties that you can't see with the naked eye and just simple tests. So we have to have this piece of equipment. It's a precision piece of equipment. This sleeve, when we crank it, rotates at 600 RPM at one speed, 300 RPM at another speed. When we add our drilling fluid to the cup, set it in place, Insert the top body to the scribed line on the cylinder. And when we crank this, we first have a stirring speed, which allows us to break any gel strengths that may be built in the mud. We change that to 600 RPM and turn this crank. Then we also take the reading at 300 RPM. These two numbers that we'll measure in a moment give us the basis for plastic viscosity and the yield point of the drilling fluid. The rheometer has several speeds. If we turn the selector all the way down and turn the hand crank, we're at a mixing speed, give or take 1100 RPM. To take our readings, we must set it at 600 RPM, turn the hand crank, the slip clutch in there only allows it to rotate at 600 RPM, we read the dial deflection, and we have a degree, 28 degree dial deflection. until it settles down. A dial reading of 28. We move the selector to 300 RPM. Rotate the crank. The slip clutch here allows 300 RPM. Dial reading of 18. back to stirring speed for a minute, stir it up, come back to 300, we're going to wait 10 seconds to measure our initial gel strength, 6, 8, 9, 10, and rotate the knurled knob at approximately 3 RPM, and read the dial deflection and we get a dial deflection of 2 for our initial gel. And then we stir it. And we will time it for 10 minutes and read our 10 minute gel strength. And that will show us how the gel strengths build in a fluid with time. 